This is the 8P block. It's designed to hold 8 cells, but with a little bit of hacking, it can also become a 4P 2S block by swapping out the top plate and putting in a split one. So what we do is we put cells in like this. We put the positive up this way. And of course, like all battery blocks, you could use salvage cells. You wouldn't match uh, mismatch cells in a battery. I'm going to do it just to make a point that you can use these cells. These have got spot welds on them. Spot welds are still intact. Not a problem, baby. Okay, this goes on the top. And there we have a 4P. We've got two sets of four cells. And they're in series. Okay, so let's put some bolts through here. We happen to have a positive terminal here, so we'll put a power terminal on. This is what comes with the battery. On the other side, you also have the negative terminal of the battery. So we'll put a terminal right there. And in the middle, we have this gap. It's important that gap stay there. You should not bridge this gap with anything because you will short the battery out, and that will be very exciting. So we put a nylon bolt in there to keep everything in place, and it's got the washer to help span the gap, keep everything separate, and hold the batteries tight. Okay, now we'll put the bottom on. Got the washers on. To put these fiddly little nylon nuts on, just press it and hold it against the, the plate with your finger and turn the head of the bolt and it'll sit flat, line up, and go on real smooth. Okay, we got that. Go ahead and use the driver and tighten it. And there we go. Like all battery blocks, these tops are loose. They wiggle even though the cells are held in very, very tightly. That's so that you can go ahead and connect blocks together. And when you do that, you want to have a little bit of play here in these so you can tighten up these nuts and bolts and, and compress everything. Well, let's go put some power to this. We'll put some new cells in it, put some power to it, and see how it does. All right, here we've got a 4P2S battery block. I've made the cells different colors. The cells are different ones just to show you the layout of the battery block. So this is going to have uh, twice the voltage of the others, so it should be putting out quite a bit more watts. Let's hook it up to the Tenergy, which is reading um, zero. We'll be able to read it right there, read zero amps on it. And we'll see how it powers these uh, bank of resistors here. This battery block here is just powering the Tenergy. Holy kamoe, look at that. We are getting 75 amps at 350, 345 watts out of a small little um, 4P2S. Let's check the temperatures. This is going to be hot. Yep, 135, 130, 24, the cells. 102, 115, and the resistors, 315, and I'm smelling them over here. Yeah, they're making a nice, I'm burning smell. This is a lot of power to be flowing. The battery block is handling it well. It's 152 degrees. The cells are 142, so most of the heat's coming from the cells. I'm going to disconnect it. This is a lot of surging to be going on.